Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Friday, August 30th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got Friday night action here. 640 Eastern first game up heading to the Motor City Detroit Tigers. Hosting the Boston Red Sox. Tanner Hook on the hill for the Sox. Casey Mize going for the Tigers. Eight and a hook being the total. Minus 115. That's the Red Sox as the road favorite. It does look like cross winds here. 10 miles per hour. Hot night in Detroit. 84 degrees. Boston comes in four games over 500. And don't look now, but the Tigers, a game over 500 themselves, winning six of seven, 13 of their last 17, very quietly printing some money there in the Motor City. They got Casey Mize, the former first pick overall out of Auburn, War Eagle. First start off of the 60-day IL, always a tricky one. You know, how's he going to do with this much time off? Well, in his last start in the show, he was very good, over five innings, zero earned against the Angels. He also had seven strikeouts and four and two thirds in his last minor league start. I think that's promising. Now he's up against Hawk here, the 28 year old out of Missouri, the former Tiger himself. No recorded wins since early July. He he really hasn't been all that great. Six earned, four walks his last time out. The Red Sox offense has been a little bit quiet as well in a huge bullpen edge here towards the Tigers. This bullpen. You go by bullpen whip over the last five weeks, the Detroit Tigers, number two across MLB. The Red Sox pen has had all kinds of issues. Hey, I think this home dog is barking in the Motor City. We get the Tigers plus 106 listing Casey Mize to start us off here on the Friday night slate. Next one up. Heading to the Sunshine State, we get the San Diego Padres and Tampa Bay Rays. Taj Bradley going for the Rays. Martin Perez, the lefty going for the Padres. Seven in the hook being the total, minus 120. That's the Rays as the home favorite. A game under 500 now, that is Tampa, and it's a terrible schedule spot, guys. They are first game home off of a three-city West Coast road trip. They were in the Coliseum. They were playing against the Dodgers out there in the Pacific Northwest against the Mariners. So this spot-wise, I think it's it, it kind of plays for a dead spot on the Rays. Taj Bradley has been good overall, the 23-year-old, 96-plus miles per hour. But six earned, two home runs last time out against the Dodgers. Now he's up against the Padres. Padres smash righties, number two overall, actually, for the full season against righties. So I think they're going to be able to put up some crooked numbers here. And the Padres have been money printing with Perez on the hill. His last five starts, all wins, 33-year-old Venezuelan, 2.20 ERA over his last six starts. He's also dominated the lesser lineups. And sure enough, the Rays, bottom 10, bottom five over the last two weeks. So I think the Padres here catching a plus price, plus 112. We're on the pods over the Rays in Tropicana. Heading to the nation's capital up next, Washington Nationals hosting the Chicago Cubs. Shota Imanaga, the 30-year-old Japanese-born pitcher on the hill for the Cubbies. He's up against Jake Irvin going for the Nationals. Eight in the hook being the total. Minus 150 to as high as minus 165. That's the Cubs as the road favorite. Talking about Irvin here, the Nats starter, 27-year-old out of Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner. In August, though, he's been uh he's getting he's been hit around a little bit. One and two record-wise, six plus FIP, five, five ERA, three walks last time out. Uh, it, we were betting on him a little bit in the beginning of the season, but of recent, he really hasn't been all that great of shakes. And Imanaga. 140 to 22 strikeout to walk ratio, solid three flat ERA. He's also, you know, this is his, I guess, quote unquote, rookie season, 33 or 30 years old out of, out of Japan, but he's never seen Washington. I think that that's kind of an advantage towards the pitcher here. The Cubs winning six of seven against the Marlins and the Pirates. I don't love the number. This isn't a best bet by any means, but I do think minus 151 on the Cubs worth a look here over the nationals got one game left on uh the west coast here we'll get after it but guys let me know in the comments below where you agree where you disagree your mlb picks for this weekend any college football as well throw it out there also check out premium picks drew martin wagertalk.com 9 40 eastern 6 40 pacific time it is the la dodgers arizona diamondbacks clayton kershaw the lefty on the hill for the Dodgers, up against Zach Gallen here for the D-backs. Eight in the hook being the total, 
minus 135. That's the Dodgers as the road favorite. It's an important one. Number one and number two in the NL West division, four games back. That's the Diamondbacks trying to reel in the Dodgers here. They're also plus 12 units on the season. Now they got Gallon on the hill, the 29-year-old out of UNC. His last time out against the Red Sox, six innings, just two hits, blanking the Sox, nine strikeouts. I think that's promising coming up, coming back after that start. And now Clayton Kershaw, the starter for the Dodgers, he only has six starts year to date, you know, the late start to the season. He's two and two, giving up 33 hits and 29 innings. His last time out, though, it was the shakiest one. Five innings, nine hits, five earned to the Tampa Bay Rays. Now he's up against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Top five lineup overall, top five lineup against Southpaws. They've been hot as well. Uh, I, I think he could have a little bit of trouble here against this Arizona lineup. Now, a little bit of a bullpen handicap here because the Dodgers, two of their top three arms are off of back-to-back -back nights, Martinez and Thompson there. So they might not be, uh, you know, all hands on deck in terms of uh, the bullpen. Now, Phillips for the Diamondbacks, he's off of back-to-back -back as well. But I think it is a little bit bullpen edge here towards the D-backs. And I think Zach Gallen, you know, he's been a lot better of late. So we're going to list Zach Gallen. As the starter, we get a home dog here in the desert. We're jumping on the Diamondbacks, plus 116 over the Dodgers. In recap, we got the Cubbies. In Minaga, listed as the starter, minus 151 is the low water mark on that. We get the Padres, plus 112, listing Martin Perez with the dog barking there in Tropicana. And another home dog here, we get the Detroit Tigers, listing Casey Mize as the starter, plus 106, risk 100 to win 106 over the Red Sox. So getting the weekend slate started here on the Diamond, guys. I am Drew Martin. That's the Friday show. We'll be back Saturday morning. Come back and check us out right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.